Welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to go over our settings menu. And one of the first things we're going to do is to go to the left side menu. And then we're going to click the settings link. That's going to reveal to us all of the areas in the settings that we can actually change. And we're going to go through this right now. Now the first area that you're going to click is going to be the general settings. And you're going to be able to make some changes here, but for the most part, you're going to leave most of it the same. Now you can give your site a title. And in this case, we've called this site test directory and that really came from the installation. We could call this whatever we want. Now when your site appears on the search engine, you'll notice that this site title will eventually be the one that will show for your site. So you want to pick this general setting carefully and make sure it's something that you want to reflect in terms of your business. Now you'll also have the ability to write in a tagline. You'll be able to communicate what the site is about. So you want to, again, be mindful of what you want people to know about your site. Okay, so then your tagline is set up. Your WordPress address, in most cases, these two addresses will pretty much be the same. This is where you want customers to actually come when they come to your website and how you want it to be recognized. You'll have an email address, which is for your administration and for logging in and for your notifications. For membership, this will allow people to register on your site if you give them the address. Now, you will have to designate whether or not anyone can sign up to your site and the only way that they'll be able to do that at will whenever they want to regardless of whether or not you give them a link is by you making that available by saying anyone can register if you leave this unchecked that means that no one can register without you giving them permission or without them getting the link now when someone actually does register automatically or otherwise then you will give them a default role and you'll see several of them here and I'm going to go through the drop down menu and you'll notice that you have subscribers, contributors, authors, editors and administrators. Obviously administrators can make obviously an administrator can make all the changes that you can make. A subscriber can make none of those changes and all of these other roles can make changes in between. In terms of the time zone you want to change the time zone to be the one that reflects yours and you're going to have to do that according to the universal time code so if you want to find out what the universal time code is for your city all you'll need to do is to go to google i'm going to do that right now if you type in to google utc code for your city typically you'll get a search result that you'll be able to go to and make the conversion in this particular case if we were in new york city we would be able to find out that our UTC is going to be minus four. So all we'd have to do is go to minus four inside of WordPress. Once we do that, we can pick a format that we want to have for our dates. And this is going to appear in our post. We can either leave the default settings or we can change them. We can change the time as we want, want it to appear on our posts. And then we can determine when we want our weeks to start in terms of how WordPress calculates them. You can start either on Sunday or Monday. And once you've done those things, you can actually hit changes. And you will have customized your WordPress general settings. Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the writing link. And when you go to that link, you're going to notice a couple of settings here. You can actually convert emoticons into graphics when they're on your display and again that is going to be optional you don't have to do that and these other settings are truly optional you can set a default post category and we'll talk a little bit more about categories in another video but you can make it so that every post that you start with will automatically go to your favorite WordPress category you can automatically set so that WordPress will automatically post in a specific format. And all of these formats are once again going to be optional. You can leave it as uncategorized and standard because you can always change your post category and your format when you're actually doing the post. And that is actually what we recommend that you do. One thing that WordPress will allow you to do is to post with an email. That would mean that you would send an email to an address that WordPress indicates, and then you would then have that appear in your WordPress blog as a post. 
This is an advanced concept, but one that you'll want to do by setting up your mail server, giving yourself a login name and password, and then setting a default category for your post to go through. Now, WordPress will allow you to set certain services so that these services will be automatically notified when you actually post to your site. And they will notify these services to give you more exposure, to give you more backlinks, and to give you more opportunities to have other people see your post. So once you've updated the categories that you want inside the writing settings, you can click Save Changes. Okay, so with that, thanks, and I'll see you in another video.